I'm Bethangin and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking through my entire Inktober series that I did this year for Inktober. My first Inktober actually I've ever done. I actually tried to plan out everything but let's be honest um uh, I'll share it with you when we get to the end of the video but I wasn't able to do what I originally had planned but that's life. It's not ever gonna go as planned so let's just jump right into it day one day one what was day one all right day one we had gargoyle i had no clue what these were but i had like a little bit of an idea of course like i originally went on to pinterest made up a board for myself so that i don't have to really do much searching and whatnot so i had like an idea so I was like, okay, this statue looks pretty good. So we went with that. And then I also looked up like different building structures and then just ended up kind of doing my own thing. Uh, I try to keep the whole glow effect with having my sidewalk chalk. I used um, literally Crayola sidewalk chalk. It works really well on cardboard. So next. I did day three, which was a bat. Again, I started to try to do like colored Sharpie, which I haven't done yet on any of my cardboard drawings. And this was like a really good opportunity just to experiment a little bit more with cardboard. So this one turned out really interesting. I thought I originally was just gonna ink in the rest of the black like around the moon because obviously it's like dark at night. I don't even know if that's a moon. Whatever you want to call it, you know, it looks like a moon to me. All right, day five, we had our first larger drawing and I chose flame. I had no clue what I was gonna do, but I knew I wanted to interpret the hand somehow just because why not? And recently I've, I haven't been able to play it at all, but my fiance has been playing like a lot of Valorant lately. And so I was kind of like inspired from Va Valorant in that kind of perspective way you could say um but basically like they have like these different parts of the game where you where the characters like use their abilities and some of their hands are just like very dramatic when they're using their powers and so i was like oh my gosh i just kind of want to like influence that but with like a snake incorporated into it i don't know it turned out really good i like this one a lot this one's one of my favorites for sure Oh my gosh, I love this one. It was so simple and sweet and I looked up like bouquets online and just like ideas and obviously it was fall time. So I had to do something that was just like really sweet and simple. I just like simple design sometimes and all that extra space. I'm just like, Mwah! I love it. So that one I really liked. That was day, day six. Day seven was trip. This one, again, I, okay. Day seven. <laughs> Day seven was trip. And so I was like, okay, somebody like going on a journey. And again, I was trying to like experiment with the Sharpie colors and it just didn't go well. Um, I don't know, it was like really eerie. I don't know, it had like a different kind of a vibe to it. I didn't put like that much energy into it. Maybe it would work if it was just red. I'll have to try that out in the future maybe. Maybe that would work. But it's nice, again, to try it out. Next was Match. <laughs> Another bad one, you know? I, I was expecting so much more. It's like the ones that I thought were gonna go well didn't go well and then the ones that I had like no expectations for it went 10 times better um it kind of speaks for itself it's okay <laughs> I didn't really put much effort into it because let's be honest school was like cramming and then I was like oh my gosh I need to do this and then I was like oh my gosh I need to do this and I just had no time but eh. This is like an example of what artists don't show you, but I'm showing you anyways. Appreciate it. All right, we had match. Next we had Krabby. I had, this is an example of something I had no expectations for and it turned out so great. 
which I now have like another idea that I want to like take this and then scale it up and make it super detailed. So I might be making possibly a series on this. I'm not sure yet. It's a possibility. It was that it was this good that I just might might be making a series on it. I'm not sure yet. I just really loved how it turned out and it was kind of like my imagination kind of got to go wherever it wanted to. It's the end of the world and for some reason crabs are our only saving grace where we live on their backs with these buildings. I don't know why. I just was really thinking that. I just love, I just love it. I don't know. It's something completely different than I normally do, but I really like the way it turned out. The next one, I tried to combine two days together because I thought, hey, you hit two birds with one stone. You kill the birds with one stone. Anyways, um, it was eagle and forest. And I was like, okay, we'll combine the two because that seems pretty easy. It was kind of like a chill day, not trying to make anything too complicated. And I made it even, it just didn't turn out good. Like. It just looks like a two-year-old tried to do it. I just don't like it. It's not great. Again, example of what I thought would be okay, but then it turned out really bad. Okay, next we have foul. At first, when I read the word foul, I was thinking of like foul, like something that's disgusting, but then I searched the word and a bunch of like birds popped up and chickens. And so I was like, I found this hilarious picture of a duck and I had to do it. It was just kind of like this cute little duck that I could totally boop its nose, you know? It's just like a little boop. Was that everything? Since I didn't do anything near to what I said I was going to do, I am going to give you a little extra something. Um, we're going to do the one day that I was really, 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 like, really looking forward to, which was Nest. Recently, okay, I have been watching a lot of the video game called The Back Rooms. I haven't played it because there's no way in this world that I could play a horror game unless I am with my fiance and we're married. That's a different story, but I absolutely love the idea of the back rooms and the way that it's structured it gives like that eerie kind of a vibe and so i was thinking if we combined that but with the spider like this humongous spider so we're going to draw that today as a like final hoorah for inktober and we'll see how it goes yeah so why not let's get let's get into it here i am Starting out with this drawing, I feel really bad that I wasn't able to finish like what I wanted to do for this Inktober, but I thought, you know what, for my first time, I'm not going to be too hard on myself, especially with the fact that the reason why I wasn't able to do half of the other drawings was because I got really, really sick this past weekend and school has been so much more busier than I thought it was gonna be. And it's just been really stressful and not the best time, I gotta be honest, okay? I just, I had to be real with y'all. Like, it hasn't been the best time, but at the same time, it hasn't been, I see, I feel like I'm saying the same words like a thousand times and it's really just messing with my brain right now. I hate talking. I really do. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's why I wasn't able to do all the drawings for this year. I really, I, I am so looking forward to when I am not busy and I can just focus on all my artwork and literally nothing else. Like, I don't have to worry about planning. I don't have to worry about, like, school, all that jazz. Like, it's going to be thrown out the window after I get settled in with my new hubby. Sounds so weird. Never said that before, by the way. Basically, it was just, it was a really great drawing. I think it did not, it definitely didn't turn out as great as I had planned it. Like I saw this great vision in mind and I think for the most part, like it went, it went halfway good. Um, I think where it started to get a little bit messy was when I included like a ramp to another way out. And I wanted to have like, 
If you were in the situation, you want to get to like that door, but there's this creepy and you know, all well spider like crawling around. I feel like the bottom half is a lot stronger than the top half. Um, I definitely want to take a lot of these ideas that I've had from Inktober and like kind of roll with them on a bigger scale with a lot more detail and time put into it. Um, I really like the idea of the whole spider and then I had this one final idea uh, which was like the, the prompt was gear. And so I had like two running ideas and I loved both of them. So maybe I'll do that in the future as a video, just to do it because why not? It was, it was a lot of fun. I have to be honest. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the smaller ones because one, they didn't take as much time. I tried to really limit myself. Obviously the ones that turned out really well, I took my time on a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's, it was a nice little fun little like monthly a whole month of like art prompts that was nice yeah looking forward to doing this again hopefully next year and i'll be able to do maybe the whole month maybe i'm not promising anything because let's be honest i'll probably screw it up again but that's fine anyways here is the final shot of the um nest that i did I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing this. It was really fun, especially for, you know, first time doing like a monthly challenge. So good job. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, to be honest. But here we are. <sighs> yeah, it was a good time. It's a good time. Good time. Oh, one thing I took away from this last drawing because it was a larger drawing. I tried out using an ink as a wash on it. It did not turn out that bad. I was surprised by how it worked and I might be using that in future um, cardboard drawings is using like actual ink wash. I was really surprised by it because now I could even control it even more but at the same time I'm like maybe I don't need the control. Hmm. I don't know. We're thinking. We're thinking about it. Okay. Okay. Anyways, that is it for me. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Maybe get to you a little bit pumped to do a month of prompts. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye!